Okay, here's a look at my Beast Wars collection of Maximals from the current mainline from the War for Cybertron Kingdom series. So, I don't know if you want to consider these uh, Beast Wars figures or War for Cybertron Kingdom figures, but um, I look at these as basically uh, updated retail versions of uh, Beast Wars characters. And uh, what I want to do is just kind of go over my collection and share my thoughts and explain why I chose to um, have this set like this instead of uh, getting all Kingdom figures such as uh, the Kingdom Rhinox which is uh, this odd gray color and uh, he even he didn't even appear in the cartoon that color either so it makes no sense and even their rat trap which uh, uh, I didn't like the way it looked. It didn't look like the original Rat Trap. And in, uh, in Beast Mode, he looks like a dirty rodent too. So it doesn't look like the cartoon. So anyways, uh, let's just uh, get into it and uh, start first with uh, Optimus Primal. So let's move Cheetor out of the way. And take a look at Optimus here. This is the regular one. This is not the uh, Netflix two-pack Walmart exclusive. And um, first thing I want to say is uh, as a mold, it looks really nice. And the scale is definitely um, much better than the original. And uh, as far as the texture, like having like all hairy and stuff, that doesn't bother me. But um, if you know the way I am, I'm really nitpicky about cartoon accurate. And so if you see here his uh, ball joints on his hips, they should be red. And that really bugs me. Um, the colors are, are just a little off. and. His feet should be gray, not blue. So that's uh, one of the big issues I have with this. And it, um, this trend is uh, consistent with uh, their other figures. So just to uh, kind of point out a few things that I was talking about, uh, let's bring in the official masterpiece um, version of Optimus Primal and uh, you can see what I'm talking about in terms of the color so um, that's kind of what I'm looking for there you go you see the red you see the feet even the chest um, but I understand that you know it's not going to be perfect because uh, this is not a masterpiece. This is a mainline retail figure. So taking that into consideration, um, this is a nice figure, but it um, has some little minor issues that uh, bug me about it. So now let's move on next to um, Rat Trap. Uh, here is the um, actually the original rat trap from the uh, 90s but I did a uh, custom paint this to be a little bit more closer to cartoon accurate as I could and um, personally I actually like this figure much better than the uh, uh, kingdom figure um, I don't know if you can just see and compare. And then in uh, beast mode, that rat looks 
too much like a real rat. Doesn't really look uh, like the uh, rat from the uh, cartoon series. So that's why I didn't get it. And I think this one looks much better. And one of the reasons why I started getting this, uh, not just because of the proportionate size of Optimus Primal, but also because uh, Dinobot is finally a much uh, better size. And um, this one looks much better than the uh, previous versions too. And I don't know why the uh, promo images showed him like a little kind of grayish color. Because here he's actually a little um, brownish color. So that's cool. So just to show you what I was talking about, let's bring out the uh, previous uh, uh, Dinobot. Not the original, but this is the Henke version of uh, Dinobot. And uh, first, this Dinobot's actually really, really cool. Especially uh, the innovative transformation design Remember, this was when they were making these figures to represent the figure, but still incorporating some of their own design. Let me see if I can kind of fix his foot here. Yeah, so this is actually a nice figure. However, it's just uh, too small. And so when the kingdom one came out and even the head I mean that's kind of what got me into getting it so that's a dino bot and uh, let me just come back to Optimus Primal because um, compared to the original this was always a problem Optimus Primal even though this is a cool figure and this is the uh, Takata 10th Anniversary Reborn version. So this is the best colored version of this mold that you can get with the gray, and the more accurate head. Colors are accurate. But what I was saying was um, the proportion was off. I mean, <laughs> you compare this with the original Rhinox, uh, which I have right here that is not accurate to the cartoon so that was um, ah, that was really hard to get over because this is really a nice figure with a lot of cool um, features uh, it, it's just it was too big so again that's why when this came out I got really excited. So, that's my choice for um, those two and uh, Rat Trap. So, sticking with the original Rat Trap. And then, Cheetor. Well, first of all, there was the regular retail version, which uh, had a, like a lighter blue. This one, obviously, is the neck slicks version uh, which definitely looks better than the original um, uh, retail version of Cheetor. Uh, let's see if I can get him to stand. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this because um, when I look back to the original, this is the original mold but um, this is the Hasbro 10th anniversary, the one that came with uh, parts of Transmutate. So this was better than the original retail release. Um, you know, they're almost close to um, same size. And obviously this one looks more like the original Beast Wars cartoon. Ah, uh, man, he doesn't stand very well. Um, and this one obviously matches more of the 
War for Cybertron Kingdom. So I can't really complain because this does look like the War for Cybertron Kingdom, not the original Beast Wars. But here I'm trying to get them to be all the or updated version of Beast Wars figures. And this one looks much bit more accurate, I'll say it that way. But um, this one is a, a nicer figure in terms of articulation and stuff. I mean, that's just, you know, um, the current time now. But uh, anyways, I um, decided to get this once I finally was able to get it uh, from the Chosen Prime. I never saw this Netflix one in, in the store. So I decided to get it. And so now I have this. And then the Rhinox. Um, this is the uh, previous version. The This is the Takata Generations version. The Hasbro. My God, the Hasbro versions. Man, they purposely make all these figures ugly. The color was off. Thankfully, Takata, before that merge, Takata was able to paint theirs the way they wanted to. This one was much more accurate. Um, and when I have a choice, this and the Kingdom Rhinox, this one obviously looks much, much better. So I decided to pass on the uh, War for Cybertron. If I do see it like at Ross or Marshalls on discount, I may get it just to be complete with all the current uh, figures but just pointing it out look at this I mean this look at that head even the tattoo on his head this looks nice look at all the detail the kingdom rhinox does not compare with this at all now I'm gonna be honest and point out you know, this um, does have trouble standing, but I was able to fix it. I did put a little bit of Elmer's glue in the ball joints. I mean, you can still articulate it. It's just, it just thickened up that plastic. So you can see he stands pretty good. I mean, look at even his weapon detail. Look at all that color. This is nice. So that's a, uh, the reason why I chose to have the collection. Come on, Rat Trap. Like this. Really nice. And then it caught even better with these two Air Razor and Tiger Tron. I mean, this is just awesome. Okay, where do I start? First, let's start with the uh, air razor because um, when you compare this with the original air razor right here, I mean, obviously this one looks much better, but um, it's the scale um, that. Uh, was important to me because it needs to blend in really well with the rest of uh, the figures. So, just a quick look at the original. I mean, that's cool for a figure from the late 90s. I mean, uh, but this new version, way, way better. I mean, there's the new movie version, which uh, we probably saw some... Uh, pictures of the new movie Air Razor, uh, but this is not about that, the movie. This is about the Beast Wars. And then, with her boyfriend, Tigertron. This, this, oh man, first of all, I thought there was going to be just a, a repaint of this. Thankfully, they did not do that because Tigertron was bigger. And just look at this. This looks really nice. 
I mean, compared to the original Tigertron, um, this one's more cartoon accurate. However, in terms of original, what I did was I bought the uh, Telemocha, the Takata Telemocha. So you can see, and I know Walmart did a reissue, but doesn't compare with the Takata Telemocha version. Look at this. This is the original with accurate colors to the cartoon with the metallic uh, turquoise finish. So that looks really, really cool. And of course, it fits in really nicely with the air razor. And this one now is the updated version. Um, so that's really cool. So uh, that's um, uh, why I chose to get these. And so this is uh, what I have as my uh, current mainline Beast Wars collection. So now, this is what my collection looks like of the original, mostly original. I sold and traded off some of the original uh, for better versions, for example. I uh, sold the original Cheetor for the Hasbro 10th anniversary that came with the uh, transmutate uh, body part. But I want to point out, I sort of regret not buying the Takata Telemocha version because that one was uh, definitely painted more cartoon accurate. Um, such as uh, the red crest on his head, his, um, um, what is it, uh, yellow eyes, and the uh, cheetah eyes who should be orange, and his feet should be also be like uh, yellow. But anyways, this is still nice, and it's the original, because most of these are original. So back there, I was telling you that's the Telemocha Tigertron with the white head, not the green head, which goes nicely with the Air Razor. And then that's also a Telemocha Rhinox. Let's just move it out so we can uh, get a better look at what I'm talking about. Um, you know, it's um, the Japanese, they made it more cartoon accurate. I mean, look at the detail there. The gums and the teeth and the head. This is really, really nice. And, um, but it's a little too small when you compare it next to uh, uh, Cheetor. Um, so he's, uh, can't really fix that problem. Um, because I can't use the uh, Takata Generations because he's just way too big. But anyways, this is supposed to be mostly the original. And then I had to... Uh, man, if these figures will actually stand for me. Uh, then I actually had to uh, get the Telemocha Optimus Primal. Look at this. This is a smaller version and it's cartoon accurate. And it does fit in a little bit better with Rhinox and the Henke uh, Dinobot. So just to show you what I'm talking about again, you cannot use the original. So this is not exaggerating. I mean, you can clearly see this did not match the cartoon whatsoever. Rhinox like turned into a baby or something. He should be much bigger than Optimus. So like I said, this is a really nice figure though. Um, so that should explain why I had to get the Telemocha version. 
because now you can see uh, that does look um, more uh, proportionate, right? And uh, he does fit in nicely with the Tiger Tron and uh, the Air Razor. Let me just get Air Razor all fixed up here. She does come with a weapon. Um, so you can see the proportion starting to look a little bit better. And last thing was uh, the Rat Trap. So, I mean, I, the original rat trap, you see now rat trap's a little bit too big. But thankfully, Transform Element made their version of a legend scale rat trap. So let's take a closer look. Look at this. That looks so much like the cartoon. This is a beautiful figure. They did make uh, Black Arachnia and a really nice Scorponok. I hope they will continue with their legends. But uh, for the purpose of this video, you can see how now, now I have a smaller scale, mostly of the original, which looks more proportionate in terms of scale. So that's a uh, the previous versions and this is the current version and one more thing i didn't point out there was a henke cheetor so you can see this figure uh, it was only cool in terms of uh, a very unique new innovative transformation design and of course this looks nothing like the original figure but this obviously suffered from a lot of flaws i mean when you transform it it does look like a really nice realistic cheetor but the other problem look at this he's just way too big so he does not fit in anywhere he doesn't fit in with the smaller set and when you compare him with the uh, the uh, war for cybertron cheetor he's too big so this cheetor sadly has to go he just he doesn't fit in here and he doesn't fit in here <laughs> So, I just wanted to point that out. And that's one of the reasons why I was making this, because I'm planning to give this figure away. So, uh, that's it. Um, and, of course, there is the masterpiece, but uh, I'm going to keep that for a separate video. We do have a masterpiece. Uh, well, since I have a couple of them right here, we do have, right, the masterpiece Optimus Primal. Look at that, that looks so awesome. And then we do have the masterpiece Cheetor. Now, this obviously is gonna make me happy because these are cartoon accurate and they are proportionate. And then, okay, just for the heck of it, let me, let me get it. Let me just get it, just so we can show you. Then there was a Dinobot. That's uh, these really nice, tight, uh, ratchety joints. Okay, I wasn't planning to do this, but since I have them out, let's move these figures aside. And let's uh, see if we can... Uh, get Dinobot up here. Let's move these figures aside. So what do we have here? This is as perfect as we're gonna get here. Uh, let me see if I can 
the Dinobot back there. Wow, this looks awesome. Look at this. Here is a Dinobot. And then what uh, we got the Cheetor. And then, I mean, it's a rumor we are getting the Rhinox, which I don't think it's a rumor. I think we really are going to get a Masterpiece Rhinox. So just imagine what that'll look like. And we did get uh, a Masterpiece uh, Tigatron. <laughs> this is this is really a nice figure also. Um, you know the downside to this? These figures, they're super expensive. Um, okay, let me see if I can uh, bring this up, show you what I'm doing here. These figures are so big. Uh, let's see, how do I straighten out uh, Tigertron's uh, leg here? I mean, when you're looking at this, this looks so much like the cartoon. It's, and everything I complain about, the imperfections with the retail version, this obviously, there are no um, imperfections like that. So now just imagine Rhinox back there. Okay, one more, might as well, since I brought them all out. Um, we don't have a masterpiece uh, rat trap, but if you remember, I think this was the Thrilling 30, and I think he looks better stayed in uh, beast mode because when you transform him into robot mode, he's missing uh, that uh, metallic paint finish. So, this is so awesome. <laughs> I love this. It's so exciting. Can't wait to get uh, Rhinox. And then that would be nice if we get a Masterpiece Air Razor. Even a, a Masterpiece uh, Rat Trap. So we're not talking Predacons here. I'm just going over the Maximals. So the Kingdom, the previous retail, and the Masterpiece. So... I'll end right here.